is flipping the script as we, as we round out the month. It does today still feel, though, like May in a lot of places across the country. We're only three months away, though, from hurricane season in the Atlantic. Our warm winter hasn't really done much to cool things down. When we look at climate factors, we're transitioning from a super El Nino to La Nina. And that change, it could be rapid. On Thursday, we'll be getting an update from the Climate Prediction Center on where we stand with this now decaying or deteriorating El Nino. It's going to be really interesting to watch. The northern Atlantic sea surface temperatures, by the way, have experienced record warm levels over the course of the last year. We've talked about how current water temperatures are more reminiscent of July than March. The combination of the warm ocean temperatures along with the introduction of La Nina, especially by the second half of the summer, could be the perfect recipe for a really active hurricane season in the Atlantic, Zach. Yeah, and earlier we spoke to the director of University of Miami NOAA Cooperative Institute for Marine and Atmospheric Studies, Ben Kerman. Take a listen. It looks like it's going to be an active hurricane season for a number of factors. One, we have that waning uh, El Nino and the emerging La Nina, which does reduce the, the wind shear over the Atlantic, allowing uh, more storms to form or be in a favorable environment for formation. The other thing we really need to note is in that main development region, the temperatures at the Atlantic are really, really warm. And the El Nino effect has a delayed effect. It's a few months later in the Atlantic. So you're seeing that El Nino warming propagating into the Atlantic a few months later. So it's going to be pretty warm through the hurricane season. And so I would expect the conditions to be quite favorable for uh, hurricane development this coming uh, season. If I were betting in Las Vegas on whether there was going to be an active hurricane season, I would bet on an active hurricane season. But it's, it's important to know that these are uh, probabilistic forecasts. So we're thinking about, you know, what are the chances of there being 22 named storms or something like that? So uh, we can't say precisely there'll be 20 named storms or 22 named storms, but the chances of an increased number of named storms seems quite likely. I mean, mm. the, the trend has been, if you're a betting person, bet on a more active season. There's no better example than I think last year. Last year, exactly. It was supposed to be, yeah. you know, yeah. a dormant season, mm -hmm. and it ended up being what one of the most active hurricane seasons on record, and it's really all because of the sea surface temperatures. Yep. And that's one of the ingredients this time around as well. And we've got a few more on the table. You were talking about the Saharan dust yeah. being a possibility here. And that is really going to be a driving force. You know, I was reading about this earlier, and Stephen, I'd love to get your insight on this too, but they were saying that, uh, in this research paper that I was reading how more moisture over Saharan Africa would then snuff out the the growth and development of showers and thunderstorms that occur and move into the main development sure. region. Yeah. So Makes could sense. that be another contributing factor? I mean, it's possible because anytime that you have storms and, and we, we look at how storms develop, there will be a zone where you get the rising air, but then you've got that sinking air too. And so if you get it over Saharan Africa, you're going to have that subsidence maybe a little farther south, a little closer to the MDR, yeah. closer to the equator, but not quite there. Remember, tropical systems don't form along the equator. They, they, they form just north or just south, depending on the hemisphere. But I think we are in for a season. We cannot underscore it enough. The sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic are remarkably warm for mm -hmm. this time of year, pacing for what it should be like in July when things begin to really tick up normally.